Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a report with the group on page level in SSRS from very basics. We will learn how to create empty report, share data sources, the data set, and then finally we will learn how to create this type of report. Let me take you to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and show you this report. As you can see this sale report, the Asia is a region that you see re right here and it's on page level. So next we have those different columns and the detail values. If I click here, next page, I will see the data for Europe. And then we have sale person name and all those kind of thing. And then if I click next one, you will see North America data. We have created this report by using wizard and it was very easy to create by using wizard. Uh, I hope uh, from scratch it will be easy as well. So first of all, we need to create a SQL query that we need to use in our report. So I have already created this select query that is returning as first name, last name, product and region and some other information such as item sold and sold price. So I'm going to take this query, go back to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and project is already created. We have shared data source here called sales.rds. If you click here, it is pointing to the sales database here and it is using my SQL Server instance. Now the name of this one is sales. Hit OK go to reports and create new report right click don't go to add new report it is going to start a wizard uh, hit on add and new item here we will be creating new empty report and name this one page level grouping page level grouping add the report now empty report will be created the very first thing we need to do, we need to create a, a reference or embedded data source in this report. So in this case, we will be creating a reference to the shared data source. So here we can give the name. I'm going to call this one a DS and sales and I will be using my shared data source. So it is a pointer to our shared data source. Next, we will be creating data set. Data set is a query that returns us the results. So use embedded data set in this case. We don't need to use the shared one. Now, paste your query here. If you are using a store procedure, select the store procedure and provide the name of store procedure. In my case, I'm using a select query. So hit OK. OK, here we are missing uh, data source. We selected that part. Now we are good. Next, uh, what we will be doing, uh, we will be bringing a list item. So go to insert and then bring the list. So here is the list. Once uh, you have the list here, list will uh, display the items in the as a, as a list. So let me take one item here. So I'm going to take a region. So I just drag the region here. So it bring brought that as a text box. So if I will go ahead and preview this report, it is going to show me all those records or the rows as a list. So that's what it will do. Now we go back here and then we need to do few things here in the detail as you can see that it was shown us all the detail now we need to go in the group properties and select or add as a group because we don't want to see those all the million values for these regions we want to create a group so i'm gonna create a group on the region so once i create the group i want to say that okay let me do uh, just leave this one here and show you the values and then we will come back now you see there are three distinct values because we have created the group let let's go back to the design go back to detail go to the group properties and here we are going to go and say page break so now we are breaking on each of the page so hit between each instance of a group that will work and in the sorting you can add a column and sort by region because we want we have the region uh, column right that's what we are displaying right now in the list so a to z is fine with me now we take a look so asia is coming on first page then europe is coming on second and north america is coming on a third page now one thing is missing we do not have any fields here so we need to put that table that we need to display with this 
information i'm gonna go ahead and let me move this one a little bit up so we have more space here right click here insert and table now let's move this table a little bit here and now we can get the first name last name product name item sold item uh, price and that's all we need here let's click here just make them bold and maybe change the color for the our column header go ahead do it and here in the region how about uh, we go ahead and uh, change uh, this font as well as make it a little bigger and uh, let's make this one to uh, 14 Arial is not my favorite I'm gonna change this one to maybe um, okay looks good now fine now we can go ahead and preview see what happened uh, when uh, we put the things uh, in the group uh, it uh, the next table that we have inserted it uh, came as a group so we have a, a group on the region and only the record related to asia came up on the first page so if i click here in the next i will see the record related to the uh, europe if i will click the next page i will see the records only which are or belong to the North America region. So it took the group and it already decided or filtered the records according to that. Now one more thing we'd like to do. Remember we always add a subtotal and all those kind of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and add subtotals. Here in the item sold I can right click here and say add total and then here I will go ahead and add total and I can go ahead and put uh, the total here and we can change the color right click here uh, sorry click here and then go ahead and make it bold italic and change the color and uh, my best color choice I, ha I have no idea what to do okay go to the fonts use white color so at least there will be more display in the display they will be visible now we see that uh, we have added uh, the total uh, per region so we have the region on each of the page then uh, we have the details and we have added the uh, subtotal for or uh, uh, total by the region as well uh, last thing if you remember we don't have a report name here we can go ahead and insert the report name if you guys are not interested and you can walk away and watch the next video insert text box and here we can go ahead and uh, insert or sorry uh, put that uh, report name so we say sale uh, report group per page and uh, let's make this one is a bold and this is really interesting part make this one fine looks good all great okay so here is our report now uh, we see that uh, um, the first page has our report name and then moving forward that's how it will be looking like there are multiple things we can do we can also go ahead and display this one on each of the page um, I, I will leave this one for the next uh, video we are going to do a lot of uh, other expressions and all these kind of uh, how to display um, headers uh, or a uh, first column on each of the page and all those kind of thing but here the goal was how to create a report uh, where uh, we can have uh, a group on each of the page and we did that by using the list uh, uh, item or control whatever you call uh, uh, from the SSRS uh, uh, toolbox. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.